Hi everyone, welcome back to JPWHU TV. My name is John, your host as always, and I hope you're all doing well as I always do. These are my full time thoughts of England 5, Albania 0, zip, nada, zero, nothing, niente. Not going to be a long video, guys, if I'm completely honest with you. Really, really isn't. Um, but as always, let's talk about the team sheets. Uh, so we had Jordan Pickford in goal with a 3-4-3 uh, three, three, or 4. So what was it? A 3-2-2-3 three, two, two, three from looking at certain websites. Uh, Carl Walker, Ben Chilwell, Reese James, John Stones, Harry Maguire making up the, def the, the defence uh, with Jordan Pickford in goal. Uh, Calvin Phillips, Jordan Henderson, Harry Kane, Raheem Sterling and Phil Foden. Uh, the latter three making the attacking three. Uh, for Albania is Straskoska, Ismaili, uh, Kumbala, I think you pronounce that, Vasily, making up the back three, with Heisei, Gusania, Bare, Trashi, uh, Unzuni, Uzuni, I'm not even going to pronounce number 16, I can't do it, and uh, Bajrami. So, to be honest with you guys, it wasn't expecting us to be 5 0 up at half time, not going to lie. I said to Jules because we watched the game together, it was quite nice actually. I miss chatting to you guys as the game progressed, but it was as nice as it was just the two of us watching the football together uh, f for the first time, actually. The first time we've just the pair of us been able to watch it properly. Um, I didn't think it was going to be a rout. And to a degree, I was right by it. I mean, don't get me wrong. Fantastic ball from Reese James for that free kick into Harry Maguire for the first goal on the ninth. Well, eight and eight and a half minutes, so it's nine on the clock. Um, very, just really good. Unbelievable. Reese James, to be honest with you, is the shout for man of the match. I'm quite surprised we didn't get to see one as the game played. Um, so, guys, as always, give me your thoughts on who you think the man of the match was for that. Um, great to see Harry Kane score three goals, of course. Is, that's what he's. That's what he should be doing. Uh, he had two other opportunities to score two goals as well. For that matter, I uh, said to Jules that the the half um, at the half time that him him in form that he usually is around about November December time. He's scoring those five. He could have easily had those five. Uh, very good goal from Henderson as well. For that matter, with well, again Henderson and Kane supporting each other for either of their first goals. So very, very good. Very, very good performance from them. Knew it was going to happen in the background that the second half was going to be just sitting back. Totally understood. Stand that. Very, very good performance. Albania, not the best of teams to play against either for that matter. You know, they weren't exactly giving anybody, giving the England side any any grief in any shape or form. A couple of decent chances in the first half. Um, well, one decent chance in the first half, really. Uh, but we should be we should be scoring this amount of goals against England. Very good to see um, Smith Rowe make his debut in the second half. Uh, good to see Abraham come on as well, for that matter. But just the second half was sitting back. Didn't need to do much pressing. Didn't need to do much. I still think, as I said, I I think that we didn't really get out of first or second gear. With it, um, out of that performance, genuinely, genuinely don't think England did in any shape or form. We could have had more, um, very good performances. I mean, obviously, Walker had a very big scare at the start of the game, uh, but other than that, yeah, we go into Monday, we would go into Monday looking, for, looking very positive, all but won the group. As long as we don't lose, we're, we've automatically qualified and won, the, and won the group, so it's good from that side of things, but as I said. It's something we should. Have, it's a performance. It's what well, it's at least it's a goal line that we should have. We should have put through. Really should should. So guys, as always, as I said, put your comments in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts on this game. And also, for that matter, if you're new to the channel, Barmies, please do hit the uh, subscribe button and hit the notification bell as well. If you want to get a decent discount from uh, Three Retro, there is a link in the description below for the England shirts as well. But yeah, very very happy with this overall. Can't really think of anything too bad that you can criticise on. Um, if we were doing the watch along, I, I, you probably would have seen a few things that I was shouting about. Some players could have done better for certain things, but very, very good movement from everybody in, involved. As I say, Phil Foden played fantastically well. Reese James was my man of the match for that game. He was unbelievable. Even when, you know, it was a bit of a shock um, but that, you know, he, that attempt that he tried in, later on in the second half. If he played the ball a little bit slower, Tammy Abraham could have run in on that and that could have been six. But at the end of the day, guys, 
you can't complain. 5-0 clean sheet against a very, very inferior side. So in the meantime, guys, look after yourselves, and I'll see you on Monday night for the full-time thoughts for that game as well when we, play, where, when we are away to San Marino. So in the meantime, guys, have a fantastic weekend. Look after yourselves, and I'll see you very, very soon. All the best. Bye.